Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today, following this week's earlier release of iOS 10.2 beta 4 to registered developers, Apple has seeded the fifth beta of the firmware. Now I'm going to let you guys know right off the bat, there are no noticeable or outward facing changes between this release and its predecessor earlier this week, beta 4. However, it could very well play into the next jailbreak and things are starting to heat up and get a little bit exciting in the realm of jailbreaking. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but first let's go ahead and open up Safari and navigate to Apple's developer portal, which is restricted to registered developers. So you'll notice here that we have iOS 10.2 beta 5, and that was seeded on today's date, December 2nd, 2016. And we also have the build number right above that of 14C89. Now this is pretty interesting because the last beta from earlier this week had a build number of 14C82 pretty small, right? Usually when Apple releases beta firmwares, they have longer build numbers associated with them unless they are the GM seed or the gold master version, which is basically the same exact thing as the finalized production ready build of a firmware. And I discussed this concept at length in this week's earlier video, talking about iOS 10.2 beta 4. In fact, in this video, I said that firmware was likely going to be the last beta release before we received the public version of iOS 10.2. Obviously that wasn't the case, but seeing as iOS 10.2 beta 5 doesn't have any changes over iOS 10.2 beta 4 that the end user is made aware of, it's likely that it's almost exactly the same firmware as what we had earlier this week. Moreover, because Apple didn't wait until next week to publish beta 5, that's also so another indication that we could get the public version as early as next week, guys. Possibly a little bit longer, but again, I wouldn't put it past them to release it this coming week. And you might be wondering, well, if iOS 10.2 beta 5 doesn't have any noticeable changes over beta 4, why was it even released? Why did Apple even bother? And wouldn't iOS 10.2 beta 4 be technically considered GM? Well, interestingly, as reported by iDevice Help, he actually discovered a lock screen vulnerability or bypass bug that existed pre-iOS 10.2 in the public firmwares and in some of the iOS 10.2 betas that apparently has been addressed in this fifth beta and iOS 10.2 beta 5 also likely contains other very minor bug fixes that Apple discovered from the feedback they received on the fourth beta. So overall, you guys won't notice anything if you happen to update to the fifth beta over the fourth beta. I'm not going to go over anything related to install instructions in today's video or really delve too much into anything beyond what we've already discussed. So down below in the description, there will be some additional links for you guys. I highly recommend checking out my beta video from earlier this week on the fourth beta because again, I go more into depth there. And as far as jailbreaking is concerned, because we know that Pangu is likely waiting for iOS 10.2 to be released before striking, this is a very good thing that we have two beta firmwares so close within the exact same week. In fact, this is actually something that happened last time with iOS 10.1. We received beta four and then within the exact same week, we actually got beta five. So Apple seeded beta four at the beginning of the week on October 17th, 2016, and they seeded beta five on October 19th, 2016. Again, back to back. And after that, iOS 10.1 was released to the public. We can likely expect this situation to closely mirror that of iOS 10.1's round of beta testing. So again, we could expect 10.2 as early as this coming week. Very good news for jailbreakers. I really am looking forward to what actually comes of iOS 10.2's release. Of course, the jailbreak situation is dynamic and could always shift. So I will keep you guys fully covered anytime anything happens in the realm of jailbreaking, click that subscribe button below next to my channel name to ensure that you don't miss out. Also, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.